During our investigation, it was learned that Philip Adams played fo professional football in the National Football League from 2010 to 2016 and suffered injuries during his football career. In interviews with the Adams family, we learned he endured several concussions, which is known to lead to chronic traumatic encephalopathy, common re commonly referred to as CTE. According to the family, Adams complained of excruciating pain from his injuries, often had memory issues, and difficulty sleeping. Philip Adams had frontal lobe atrophy as evidenced by enlarged frontal horns and lateral ventricles. He also had a large uh, cavum septum pellucidum with atrophy of the fornices. And microscopically, he had very dense and extensive tau pathology in a pattern and distribution diagnostic of stage two CTE. Mr. Adams' CTE pathology was different, however, from the other young NFL players with CTE. It was different in that it was unusually severe in both frontal lobes. In its frontal lobe predominance, Adams' CTE pathology was similar to that of another young NFL player, namely Aaron Hernandez. Severe frontal lobe pathology might have contributed to Adams' behavioral abnormalities in addition to physical, psychiatric, and psychosocial factors. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.